I got a question here from, uh, I believe it was a young woman, who said, when purchasing a foreclosure or a short sale, should I have a home inspection done and should I have the paperwork reviewed by an attorney? That's a great question. One of the big f issues that are facing people now buying houses that went through the foreclosure process or through the short sale process is what are we really buying? What am I getting myself into? I mean, think about it, folks. There may be some houses that have been on the, in, the, in the foreclosure or vacant that will go through the foreclosure process that have been sitting for a year or two, not lived in. So yeah, I would definitely want you to get a home inspection from a qualified home inspector. You might want to get, you know, going out on a limb, you might want to get two just in case. And again, that's just an abundance of caution because you, know, you want to get somebody who's going to really get into the nooks and crannies of this, clay, of this place because I'd be concerned about mold or any other problems that this house may have after sitting for two years. Obviously the roof or anything that may have been leaking, I'd be really worried about this. Number two, same thing with a short sale. Short sale usually that was a little bit different because those properties are moving a little bit faster. They're not going through the foreclosure process. Remember, a foreclosure has to go through the judicial system. A short sale may be a home that's just going up for sale when it's um, the person really is way upside down and they're just trying to get out from under that debt. They may have been living there the whole time, but the reality is if they know they're leaving, is this person truly going to maintain this house? They would the same way as they would if they were going to stay there and keep living there for a long time. I don't know. That's why I would always, I would never purchase a home or make a major purchase like that. I mean, let's face it, usually a home is one of the biggest purchases you're going to make in your life. If you buy multiple homes, the same principle applies. You buy it with the intent of living there, or if you're going to buy it as an investment property, the intent of putting somebody else's family in there. And you would want to make sure that, number one, you're buying a quality house structurally, but you also want to make sure that there's nothing um, latent defects hiding behind the walls that's going to come back to bite you later. I mean, you're, if you're putting down a substantial amount of money or financing a substantial amount of money, you want to make sure that your investment is sound to the best of your ability. So absolutely, I would never do anything without a home inspection. And that's, well, that was a really good question. It's not a usual question I get, but I'm really glad that came up. Now, the other part about having the paperwork reviewed by an attorney. This may see a simple answer or say, of course, you'd want an attorney to review your paperwork. But sometimes it's not always financially feasible. And in that circumstance, I understand that. There's a lot of good title companies out there that prepare the paperwork, get it all ready, but it's up to you to make the determination as to whether or not you want an attorney to review the paperwork for you before you buy the house. I mean, in a, in a, um, in a foreclosure or in a short sale, specifically those two, there may be some problems with the title that you have to worry about. I mean, yep. Yeah. So what you're, what you're looking at is a problem or a process. I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now with these mortgage companies that they may or may not have owned the notes or they may have provided some fraudulent documentation during the foreclosure process. And let's call them out on it. Bank of America, GMAC, Chase are the big ones. And then Wells Fargo came out and said, yeah, us too. Now, they probably hold I don't know, anywhere from 50 to 60% of all the mortgages in the United States or service them. So they're, they've are they got their hands in pretty deep in this. But let's just talk about the ones that they own and they're processing. If they own the loan and there's some fraudulent documentation in the court file, that's a problem. Because if they've somehow doctored it up or did something to, to mess with this loan, that may make a problem going forward. Because if they wrongfully foreclosed on the property, what if you're a third-party purchaser who buys it at the foreclosure sale? There's a problem because you may not own that house. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people telling me, saying, oh, what about title insurance and what about this and what about that? The reality is if there was a wrongful foreclosure and the homeowner who legitimately had a deed to the property under the con and has homestead protection under the Florida Constitution, there's going to be a big problem. So, I, I, you know, from that perspective, in this market, if I was buying a house, I would want to have a real estate attorney look at those documents and do the best title exam they could, uh, examination they could do, and I would also want a, um, a qualified home inspection. So, I mean, on first blush, that, that question seemed kind of simple. After thinking about it for a few minutes when she specifically referred to foreclosures and short sales, I really got the wheels turning, and I'm thinking, wow, 
This, this is a really great question because it goes right to the heart of what's going on in the Southwest Florida market. And, I mean, if you're buying the home for yourself or as an investor, you know, you're really thinking about the long-term investment. So I was like, wow, this is definitely a, a question I got to get on the show.